capital investment and financial decision, long term and medium term financing. Hello student, welcome to the lecture on long term and medium term financing and after this lecture we will be able to learn the following objectives. Discuss on long term sources of finance, explain finance using leasing, define medium term finance, explain the concept of lease financing, understand the concept and meaning of higher purchase, Describe NSIC and higher purchase. Understand factoring in financing. Over recent years, there has been an increasingly medium term orientation of policies in many countries. One important motive has been the reduction of inflation expectation through the controlled growth of monetary aggregates. And this has carried with it the need for a consistent medium, medium term budget policy. For a consistent medium term budget profile, a particular issue address is why economic policies based on medium term relationals, rationals for budgetary retrenchment have been widely adopted when the evidence of most forecasting models suggests that fiscal policy is effective in raising demand and that short term fiscal multipliers are positive. In other words, we need to make sure that financial markets contribute to the long-term investment needs of the real economy, especially through the provision of sufficient liquidity to the economy. Limiting the financial instability caused by the manner in which hedge and private equity funds operate, subjecting the industry to the same rules of disclosure and transparency that able that apply to other players in the financial sector. Financial market, a place where individuals are involved in any kind of financial transaction, refers to financial market. Financial market is a platform where buyers and sellers are involved in sales and purchase of financial products like shares, mutual funds, bonds and so on. Capital market, a market where individuals invest for a longer duration that is more than a year is called as capital market. In a capital market, various financial institutions raise money from individuals and invest it for a longer period. Capital market is further divided into primary market. Primary market is a form of capital market where various companies issue new stock shares and bonds to investors in the form of IPO's initial public offering. Secondary market. Secondary market is a form of capital market where stocks and securities which have been previously issued are bought and sold. Types of capital markets. Stock markets. Stock market is a type of capital market which deals with the issuance and trading of shares and stocks at a certain price. Bond markets. Bond market is a form of capital market where buyers and sellers are involved in the trading of bonds. Commodity market. A market which facilitates the sales and purchase of raw goods is called a commodity market. Money market. As the name suggests, money market involves individuals who deal with the lending and borrowing of money for short time frame. Derivatives market. The market which deals with the trading of contract which are derived from any other asset is called as derivative market. Future market. Future market is a type of financial market which deals with the trading of financial instrument at a specific rate wherein the delivery takes place in future. Insurance market. Insurance market deals with the trading of insurance products. Insurance companies pay a certain amount to the immediate family members of owner of the policy in case of the untimely debt. Foreign exchange market. Foreign exchange market is a globally operating market dealing in the sale and purchase of foreign currencies. Foreign currencies. Private market. Private market is a form of market where transaction of financial products takes place between two parties directly. Mortgage market, a type of market where various financial organizations are involved in providing loans to individuals on various residential and commercial properties for a specific duration is called a mortgage market. Long-term sources of finance, over a period of time sources of finances have shifted from the traditional to increasingly non-traditional sources, largely due to the factors such as ease of obtaining capital, better rates of interest, 
lower regulatory and statutory obligations, better structuring and flexibility as well as global perspective. The increasing complexities of financial markets, the increased education of investors in general, the imperfections of taxes, agency costs, etc. all have a role to play in the selection of debt sources. Various sources of finance are briefly discussed below. Equity capital. Equity shareholders are the owners of the business. They enjoy the residual profits of the company after having paid their preference, shareholders and other creditors of the company. Preference capital. Preference shares have some attributes similar to equity shares and some similar to debentures. Like in the case of equity shareholders, there is no obligatory payment to the preference to the preference shareholders and the preference dividend is not tax deductible. Debentures. A debenture is a marketable legal contract whereby the company promises to pay its owner a specific rate of interest for a defined period of time to repay the principal at the specific date of maturity. Debentures are usually secured by a charge on the immovable properties of the company. Secured loans. These constitute one of the major sources of debt finance for a long-term project. They are generally repayable in more than one year but less than 10 years. The interest rate on term loans will be fixed once the project is appraised and the credit risk accessed. Unsecured loans and public deposit. Unsecured loans and public deposits are often resorted to because they carry lower rate of interest, do not require any security or hypothecation lesser formalities and are comparatively for a longer period in comparison with working capital sources. Deferred credit. The deferred credit facility is offered by the supplier of machinery where the buyer can pay the purchase price in installments spread over a period of time. Internal accruals. Financing through internal accruals can be done through the depreciation charges and the retained earnings. Leasing and higher purchase. Leasing is a contractual agreement between the lesser and the lessee, wherein companies can enter into a lease deal with the manufacturer of the equipment or through some other intermediary. Government subsidies. The central and state government provides subsidies to industrial units in background area, to industrial units in backward areas, non-voting shares. These are useful for companies seeking to bluster network without losing management control, similar in every respect to equity shares except for the absence of voting rights. Detachable equity warrants. These are issued with NCDs or other debt or equity instruments. They are ideal for firms with growth prospects which prefer equity coupons to convertible depentures. Participating preference shares. These are quasi-equity instruments to bluster net worth without diluting or losing management control. Payouts linked to equity dividend and are also eligible for bonus. Bought out deals. Buyout is a process whereby an investor or a group of investors buy out a significant portion of the equity of an unlisted company with a view to take it public within an agreed time frames. Difference between debentures and share. A person having the debentures is called debenture holder whereas a person holding the shares is called shareholder. Debenture holder is a creditor of the company and cannot take part in the management of the company while a shareholder is the owner of the company. Shares cannot be converted into debentures whereas debentures can be converted into shares. Debentures will get priority is getting the money back as compared to shareholder in case of liquidation of a company. There is no restriction on issues of debentures at a discount whereas shares at discount can be issued only after observing certain legal formalities. Convertible debentures which can be converted into shares at the option of debenture holder can be issued whereas shares convertible into debentures cannot be issued. Sources of finance. Medium term borrowing. Companies use several types of financing options in the course of their business operations. Loans. The most popular financing for businesses are bank loans. 
Loans can be obtained for any amount and carry special terms for funding, length and repayment. Leases. Leases is an attractive financing option for companies needing equipment or facilities for a certain length of time. Bonds. Large companies may issue business bonds to gain financing for medium length projects. Equity. Small companies may provide medium term financing through deposits of owner capital. Large companies may issue stock on a medium term plan for generating new capital for business financing. Venture capital. Venture capital financing is generated by offering outside investors an ownership stake in the business for the invested capital. Finance using leasing. Leasing and higher purchase are financial facilities which allow a business to issue an asset over a fixed period in return for regular payments. The business customer chooses the equipment it requires and the finance company buys it on behalf of the business. Many kinds of business assets are suitable for financing using higher purchase or leasing including plant and machinery, business cars, commercial vehicles, agriculture equipment, hotel equipment, medical and dental equipment, computers including software packages, office equipment. Higher purchase. With a higher purchase agreement, after all the payments have been made, the business customer becomes the owner of the equipment. This ownership transfer either automatically or on payment of an option to purchase fee. Leasing. The fundamental characteristic of a lease is that ownership never passes to the business customer. Instead, the leasing company claims the capital allowances and passes some of the benefit on to the business customer by way of reduced rental charges. Contract hire. Contract hire is a form of operating lease and it is often used for vehicles. The leasing company undertakes some responsibility for the management and maintenance of the vehicles. Medium term finance. This is possibly the simplest form of loans available to businesses. The average bank manager dealing with a medium sized firm and responsible to a head office for the performance of the brand uses a set of well defined criteria when making a loan. A bank loan is for a fixed amount and a fixed rate of interest. There is likely to be a demand for regular payments. Concept of lease financing. Lease financing denotes procurement of assets through lease. The subject of leasing falls in the category of finance. Lease as a concept involves a contract whereby the ownership, financing and risk taking of any equipment or asset are separated and shared by two or more parties. Meaning of lease financing. A lease transaction is a commercial arrangement whereby an equipment owner or manufacturer conveys to the equipment user the right to use equipment in return for a rental. In other words, lease is a contract between the owner of an asset and its user for the right to use the asset during a specific period in return for a mutually agreed periodic payment. Importance of lease financing. Leasing industry plays an important role in the economic development of a country by providing money incentives to lease. Leasey. The leasee does not have to pay the cost of asset at the time of signing the contract of leases. Leasing contracts are more flexible so leasees can structure the leasing contracts according to the needs for finance. Types of lease. Agreements. Lease agreements are basically of two types. They are financial lease, operating lease, concept and meaning of higher purchase. Higher purchase is the type of installment credit under which the higher purchaser, called the hirer, agrees to take the goods on hire at a stated rental which is inclusive of the repayment of principal as well as interest with an option to purchase. Under this transaction, the higher purchaser acquires the property goods immediately on signing the higher purchase agreement but the ownership or title of the same is transferred only when the last installment is paid. The Higher Purchase System is regulated by the Higher Purchase Act 1972. This act defines a higher purchase as an agreement under which goods are let on hire and under which the hirer has an option to purchase them in accordance with the terms of the agreement and includes an agreement under which 
the owner delivers possession of goods thereof to a person on condition that such person pays the agreed amount in periodic installments. The property in the goods is to pass to such person on the payment of the last of such installments. Such person has a right to terminate the agreement at any time before the property so passes. NSIC and higher purchase. Small scale firms can acquire industrial machinery, office equipment, vehicles, etc. without making full payment through higher purchase. With the help of asset acquired through higher purchase, they can produce and sell. Now, several agencies like National Small Industry Corporation, NSIC, provide machinery and equipment to small scale units on higher purchase basis and on lease basis. Factoring. Factoring is another type of financial service provided by the specialist organization. When small-scale firms sell on credit basis, collection of receivable poses a problem. Factoring involves sale of receivables to specialized firm called factors. Factors collect receivables and also advance cash against receivables to solve the client's firm's liquidity problem. For providing their services, they charge interest on advance and commission for other services. In other words, factoring is an arrangement under which a financial institution undertakes the task of collecting the book debts of its client in return for a service charge in the form of discount or rebate. Factoring Procedure The agreement between the supplier and the factor specifies the factoring procedure. Usually, the firm sends a customer's order to the factor for evaluating the customer's credit worthiness and approval. Once the factor is satisfied about the customer's credit worthiness and agrees to buy receivables, the firm dispatches goods to the customer. The customer will be informed that his account has been sold to the factor and he is instructed to make payment directly to the factor. Merit. As a result of factoring services, the enterprise can concentrate on manufacturing and selling. The risk of bad debts is eliminated. The factoring institution also provides advice on businesses, trends and other related matters. In India, subsidiaries of four Indian banks, States Bank of India, Kanara Bank, Punjab National Bank and Allahabad Bank are providing factoring services. Summary. Let us now summarize what we have learned in this section. A market is a place where two parties are involved in transaction of goods and services in exchange of money. A market where individual invests for a longer duration that is more than a year is called as capital market. Primary market is a form of capital market where various companies issue new stock, shares and bonds to investors in the form of IPOs, initial public offering. Initial public offering, leasing is a contractual agreement between the lesser and the lessee, wherein companies can enter into a lease deal with the manufacturer of the equipment or through some other intermediary. Leasing is an attractive financing option for companies needing equipment or facilities for a certain length of time.